Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And like I told you from the beginning, matter of fact, I just told you in the last video too, folks. You can't sit up here and judge what's really going on, especially when you don't know the ins and outs. There's a lot of fake pages being made out of that I really think. That's why I haven't been covering on the Soldier Boy DMs. I haven't really been talking about all the other stuff that these fake Yo Gotti pages have been making. Because I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe it. If the whole, if it's not making world news, anything like that, or real credible people, you don't report on it. But something that I've seen that's really true is that the dude who got locked up for, I think he either owned the Mercedes Benz that was part of that dope fit, or he was located in that building where it was found. But he was tied to the whole Dolph murder, and everything started to crack down on him. Now, he was arrested for um, attempted carjacking, and also he was questioned for the murder. So now, all that being said, we all know those are 100% facts. Supposedly, this is coming from his real page, because I see credible people talking about it. Well, he said he I, he cooperated in it and wanted to work with the feds to give him the information about what he knew. And now it's all coming down on him. He don't know what to do. He probably wasn't truthful the first time when they asked to speak to him. So now he had to go back and actually let his mind be known. And now I don't know if it's true or not. The reason why I said that, because if you admit to a murder, they're going to lock you up right then and now. Unless they need you out in order to gather more information. But besides that, something that he said was if he could go back and restart the day when they set Dolph up, then this and that, he could change it if he could. Now that whole Dolph set up, you got to question that because if he was set up, that means the video I just did yesterday about the owner of that barbershop, excuse me, not the barbershop, the cookie shop, the daughter of that cookie shop, She, if she really set Dolph up for some bread or just because she was messing around with somebody who wanted him dead, then that's a whole different story altogether. I think they said CEO Bobby had ties to paper route. There's a lot of people who probably got ties to paper route. That's a Memphis outlet. That's like the Memphis cash money. You know what I'm saying? Well, pretty much CMG and PRE is like cash money and no limit. That's how I feel. That's what they are to no limit. That's what they are to Memphis. And um, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to get y'all opinions on this because it seemed like it's the truth. If you admitted to the murder, then it's a case closed. We already know who did it. You know what's going on. He just need to watch his head. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.